Hi, my name is Daniel. Um, I'm 22 years old. I am a grad student at NYU. And I'm gay. What are the odds? And this is my contribution to the It Gets Better project. Um, my coming out story is kind of weird. Um, I started having feelings in 8th grade, um, but I didn't know what exactly they were. Um, I was raised very, very very strictly Roman Catholic. I went to Mass every weekend. I sang in the choir. I served on the altar. Um, and I was taught from a very young age. Well, no, I wasn't even taught from a very young age. I didn't know what these feelings were. Being gay was never even mentioned in my household, let alone um, known as a viable sort of lifestyle. Um, so then I went off to high school um, at this all-boy Jesuit high school in a cruel twist of irony. And it was very interesting um, being in that in that kind of environment. Um, my freshman and sophomore years were full of nothing but loathing of myself when it came to this, just absolute hate. Um, why am I this way? Why would God create me this way? Um, why am I such an aberration? Why does nobody else have these feelings? Um, I started coming out to a few friends, but um, people who I thought were my friends would keep telling me, no, you're just doing this for attention. No, you're not really gay. You just haven't found the right girl yet. Uh, um, stupid stuff like that. Um, it got to the point where my senior year of high school, I even had a girlfriend for all 24 hours um, when I tried to convince myself that I wasn't gay. But of course, you can't fight what you just can't fight. Um, when I went to college, I was like, None of this classic crap. None of this hating myself. I am who I am, and I have no nothing to apologize for. Um, I went to the College of the Holy Cross in Worcester, Massachusetts, um, and for a while, it was on the Princeton Review's um, top five list of schools where alternative lifestyles are not an alternative. Um, I was absolutely terrified about this. I mean, I was going to the college for like the academics and whatnot. I didn't even think about the social aspect. And then I heard the statistic, and I was terrified. But then I came to Holy Cross, and I realized that it couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, I found so many wonderful, kind, genuine people um, that not only accepted me for who I was, but celebrated me for it. Um, I finally felt comfortable in my own skin for the first time. Um, I was out as soon as I made it to campus. Um, and I just met my very, very best friends, people who I love and cherish, um, and I built a support system that I use to this very day. Um, let me just say, I have never been bullied or actively antagonized for my sexual orientation. Um, there have been a few incidents uh, with like people writing my whiteboard and things like that, but um, for the most part, I have not suffered the kind of discrimination um, and bullying and teasing that other people have. Unfortunately, I realize that I'm the exception to the I do know, however, what it feels like to think that I that you're the only one out there who's feeling this way, um, that nobody understands where you're coming from. I know what it's like to hate the skin that you're living in, to just want to rip it off and live somebody else's life, to hate God for creating you the way um, that he did. I know what it's like to be terrified that you're going to lose not only the financial and the practical support of your parents, but also their love if they ever found out. But the one thing that I do know is that if it weren't for my friends, if it weren't for the family members who do know, do know my little sister and whatnot, if it weren't for the support system um, and the fact that I know that there are people out there who are willing to listen, who want to help me out if I have issues or even if things are going really well, that I just want to share um, th things with them. If it weren't for them, I would be completely lost or worse. Um, and the reason why I'm posting this video is because the stories of Tyler Rutgers and, and everything has been so painful to me because yes, there are bullies in, this, bullies in this world, but you should never feel so alone that you're dealing with something all by yourself. There are people out there who are actively invested in your well-being, be they friends or family members or a teacher or a counselor or a religious leader or somebody, some random stranger off the street. There are people out there who are actively invested in your well-being and want to know 
that you are feeling okay. So um, I'm just asking if you have any issues um, and you need to talk to somebody, just know that you are loved. Just know that there are people out there who are willing to listen no matter what. Um, I am so grateful that I have people in my life who I can reach out to if things are going well or if things are going really, really badly. And I have leaned on my support system for both the situations and everything in between. Please know that you are loved. Please know that there are people out there. Please reach out if you need anything. And please know that it does get better.